prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, 
searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you, I have entrusted my cause. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Please all stand. Napalad ang nag-iingat sa kanyang pusong matapat ng salitang nagpubuhat sa buong Diyos ng liwanag sa tiyagay aning ganang The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this, like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus one of their members, who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Our gospel today talks about how the crowds, the Pharisees, and the guards were somewhat divided what will be their attitude towards Jesus. And this is... I would like us to reflect on the image of the guards, the image of the crowd, and the image of the Pharisees. Sabi dito, the crowds were somehow divided whether to believe or not to believe in Jesus. 
Some say that truly he is the prophet. He is the Christ. However, some are adamant to say that he is because they could not believe that someone from Galilee could be a prophet or the Christ. So a division occurred in the crowd because of Jesus. The guards, on the other hand, were instructed to arrest Jesus. However, hearing Jesus, it appears that something happens upon their hearing. They believed. They were somewhat convinced that after experiencing an encounter with Jesus, they were somewhat convinced, eto siya. No? Kaya nga kahit anong instruction ng mga pariseyo na arestuhin, they did not do it. The Pharisees, on the other hand, hearing and experiencing what Jesus has been doing, seeing His miracles, experiencing firsthand kung paano gumalaw si Jesus, still would not want to believe. And in these scenarios, my dear brothers and sisters, I guess we can all reflect. All of us here, perhaps, can say, may pananampalataya tayo kay Jesus. Kaya nga tayo nan, di dito. No? Pero marami rin sa atin, kulang pa ng experience. Yung tinatawag na faith experience. At yun actually ang magpapakumpleto sa encounter natin kay Jesus. Kaya sana ngayong kwaresma, eto ang hingin natin sa Diyos. Sa mga pareseyo naman, meron na silang experience kay Jesus, pero sila silang pananampalataya. Kaya kahit anong gawin ni Jesus na milagro, kahit anong first hand na kanilang witness sa ginagawa ni Jesus, dahil wala silang pananampalataya, hinding hindi sila ma, nini, wala. Sa mga crowds naman, they were somewhat divided to believe or not to believe, to have faith or not to have faith. But sure, they have one thing. What is it? Experience. Kaya nga, they are divided. And most probably, we also experience it. No? Saan ba ako papanig dito? Sa naniniwala o hindi? Naniniwala. Minsan pa, nagahanap tayo ng kung sino ang mas popular. Kung sino ang mas kinakaniga ng lahat. Pero ang hamon po sa atin ngayon ay magkaroon ng first-hand experience. Pero not just experience, faith experience. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for our Holy Mass today, for our reflection today, let us beg the Lord for this grace. No? Let us beg the Lord that we may have this encounter with Jesus. And this encounter, hopefully, will develop into a deeper experience and deeper faith so that in our journey towards Easter, we can say that our Lord is our refuge, just like we have heard in the responsorial psalm. Mas mapalalim pa usana natin ang ating pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng mga samot-saring karanasan natin. Hindi lang basta-basta karanasan, kundi karanasan na may pananampalataya para mas mapabuti natin ang ating pagsunod sa Diyos. Amen. Please stand.
as we recall the rejection of the Savior who suffered for our sake, let us ask for the faith of the humble that we may transmit Christ's message to others through our words and deeds. In every prayer we say, you are, you are our strength, O Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That those in authority may be guided by the spirit of faith, let us pray to the Lord. You, you are, are our, our strength, strength, O Lord. Lord. That courage may be given to those who spread the gospel, gospel message everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. You are our, our strength, strength, O Lord. That rich nations may be generous to poor nations, let us pray to the Lord. You are our, our strength, strength, O Lord. Lord. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, strength O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy the promised everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That through the intercession of San Pedro Calungsod, who we celebrate today, we may be able to have a deeper faith experience of Jesus so that we ourselves could follow San Pedro Calungsod's example to the mission and witness Jesus to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Our strength, O oh. Father of all, you sent your only Son to draw us closer to you. Guide us in our mission to spread our faith throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its reward through Christ our Lord, through him. The angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. 
heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, San Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, my roof but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working, render us fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace that help by the consolations of this world they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain in you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng Salibutan, Nakatangot sa krus ni Jesu Cristo, Panginoon, Ikihip ng lumpan.